Hello, my Gemini friends. Hello, it's Robin. So, the Holy Spirit has got me thinking about you guys tonight. So, I'm just going to come in with a random reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and take a look at what's coming in for you. I'm using the uh, Reiki prayer protection for you now. I've been doing a lot of sound healings and uh, things like that. I'm listening to Simon and Garfunkel for myself. So, if you like Simon and Garfunkel, please go listen to it. Let's make sure everybody gets credit, right? But I cannot always do this with a plain background. All right, thank you. Um, by the way, thank you. I love you very much. I hope the best for you, Geminis. What's coming up for Geminis, please? We are looking at the middle of April, 2022. Time is of no consequence. The Unity Prayer for Protection for my Geminis and for myself. The light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. The presence of God watches over you. And where you are, God is. So be it. That is our Reiki Prayer of Unity and Protection. We know that the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ is watching over us and filling our hearts with, uh, you know, deliverance and healing and new ideas and new thoughts and new guides and how to hear your guides and how to tap into your gifts, Geminis. Wow. We already got two cards. I'm going to take them. Wow. Okay, so this has to do with someone's home or some kind of a celebration or joy, perhaps. It could also be if you believe in that twin flames. This is a full card in reverse, and that means that this is not going to start up again. Or it may not start. Hold on just a minute. My bad. That's for me. It's so loud. Sorry. So you have a full card, which could be an Aries or a Taurus. Um, they could be someone's... Um, spouse, but they're not showing up for something. Why is this person not showing up for Gemini? They're the emperor. They're uh, the chariots in reverse. For some reason, they can't get to you. This person's trying to get to you. Explain to me, please, Holy Spirit. It could be a cancer as well. Really can't move. The chariot is like somebody that intuitively knows exactly where they're going they're ready to go they, they're it's more of a spiritual card than people give it credit for because it doesn't have any reins on the chariot and the chariot is driven by the black horse and the white horse let's say and that's very much like where the empress sits between the black pillar and the white pillar that means the shadow side and the light side both are guiding and the person would be guided intuitively in the forward direction of their desire. Seven being their desire. Okay? So this person's not. Don't know why. Cancer. Aries or uh, Cancer or um, Aries perhaps. It doesn't have to be, but with someone. So clarify who this might be, please, for my Geminis. This could be a King of Pentacles, someone's husband. Someone's long time friend or an, a, an adult, a parent, perhaps. It's a, 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 it's a, it looks like a masculine person that's, um, he's in, he's secure. And, I mean, he's into money and security and he's grounded and he's committed. But at this time, he's not coming forward. Tell me why this money, uh, this person with money is not coming forward. Why is this chariot stopped for this person? Oh, the sun is in reverse. Gemini? That's not it. Okay. They can't see where they're going. Why can't this person see where they're going? They don't feel good? Yes, they can. This person you're dealing with is super depressed. Do you understand? They're super, super, super down. Yep. Nine of Swords. Five of Pentacles in reverse with the sun in reverse is someone who's so out in the cold that they're ill. They're ill from it. They're suffering terrible anxiety. It's a masculine, possibly. Doesn't have to be. Spirit, keep going for Gemini's reading. 
explain to me a little more about this person and then we'll go on and see what else is going on for Gemini. What's going on, please, Spirit? Why did you have me read this tonight? Someone, this could be someone's um, three of cups is in reverse. So this person doesn't feel like celebrating. Oh, I'm not used to where my camera is. This person doesn't feel like celebrating because three of cups is celebration and re reuniting and joy or possibly representation of someone that cheated. Thank you, Michael. And now they're out and they can't come towards you and it's causing them incredible anxiety. This is someone you put out, I think, and they're feeling really, really bad about this. So tell me about this person. Why is the three of uh, cups in reverse? Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is, is coming off very strong like a Cancer, a spouse or a longtime lover or s someone. Um, <clears throat> the Knight of Wands came out in reverse and this is like the player from Himalaya, right? The guy that runs around and just goes and bebops around. They're not coming forward because you're not going to play with that energy right now, Geminis. You don't want that, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is what popped out. The Seven of Swords. You don't trust them anymore, okay? Or maybe they don't trust you. But somebody here is an empress. Okay, somebody here is an empress that I'm reading for, and they are indeed someone very, very precious in the eyes of the Lord. They have done all the hard work, Gemini, to be high standards and in your highest form, accountable for everything, and tapped into divine providence so that you can receive. Bless you for liking my video. This is a good message. Thank you. Please tell me more. So Geminis can be very... Con very on the lookout for this energy. So this person that's suffering this nine of swords and this five of cups uh, coins out in the cold that you don't trust. Explain them to me, please, so you know. Okay. They're a bad magician. They're doing bad juju. They're, they're not good. They're not good. Somebody's got a cancer that's doing bad juju. Or um, a Leo, a cancer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, someone's doing bad magic of some kind. What kind? <sighs> the devil. So someone's under spiritual attack, and that's why I came to read this to you, to see if I could tap in and give you some more information, and also to present you with an offer. You know, I make, I have clear black magic and spells. I have a kit. I have commands you can use, Holy Spirit, to help you to speak up against the Word of God, use the Word of God to speak up against these dark forms. And also I have sprays and bath salts specifically to make you less visible and to anoint you. I have sprays. I have a triple threat that's still on sale right now. Three, attraction, just attract, repel, and anoint. So they're all different, but they're $25, and they are fabulous, one of a kind, all made by a Reiki master for other people to utilize in their daily practices with their intention. And um, yeah, see, look what's happening. Okay, so what we have here is the Empress is not going to, which is you guys, not going to start in something new with someone with the fire sign you've turned your back and your energy away from a fire sign because they they burdened you so much gemini too much pain and so you called judgment right and you decided to spend time working on your family and your coin and your business and minding your own business and you're still getting this stuff from this person Okay, tell me about the judgment card, please. For, Gem for Gemini, Simon, Rising Venus. The judgment card is indeed you call judgment on your own fortune and future. You change things. You're still going to be blessed because God says so. As long as you're not the one doing any bad magic, you, uh, any kind of bad magic would be like ill will on any level. Okay, it's a microcosmic planet. Uh, world okay 
this day. I can feel you and hear you, hear your thoughts even sometimes. Gemini, tell me about this ten of coins for Gemini. Okay. It's partly going to be what's going to ha happen is your family is going to help. Somebody's going to help you get out of this mindset of this narcissistic shit. You are in a narcissistic devilish type of relationship with someone that, oh my God, my cat's crying. She's a Gemini. That did nothing but harm you. They brought people into the situation. They sent chaos. And you need to have prayer and protection. And you need to have love to get through this. So... Tell me about this Eight of Swords in Reverse. Well, some of you may not be able to break away unless you walk away. Eight of Cups is walking away to a more uh, a joyous energy, which would be Nine of Cups, which would be wish fulfillment. So in order for you to get away out of, the, out of this situation, whether it be marriage or not, you're, you have a partner who's devious or someone who's been devious, and you know it. You're going for your wheel of fortune. You're calling judgment. Tell me about judgment. You're calling judgment on a king of, sword, king of wands. The gamer, the player, the someone who thought that they could just play somebody. They're, they're, a, they're a magician. Tell me more. Yep. Yep. Three of swords. Their aim is to keep you in pain. You need to get away, please. Yep. Yes. So you need to constrain your energy, hold yourself back so that you are find yourself in a safe place. Where would that be for my Geminis? Queen of Coins. Somebody that has your back could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be a mother, a father, a mother, grandmother, someone that will help you. Your family will help you. And so if this is because someone's doing something not cool, all right? And you need to know about it. I'm telling you. I don't like these readings, but I wanted to tell you why Holy Spirit had me read for you. So what should Gemini do about this? <clears throat> Learn the lesson and walk away. This could be a cancer. I think it's a cancer that's on your back. Um, someone was married to a cancer and it failed because they were doing bad magic on you. Or... You just got wise to it and said, that makes me very upset. This is not my thing. I can't stand all the chaos. I don't want it. You can have it back. And you learn your lesson and you say, okay, another one bites the dust. I'm going on. Yes, I'm going to take this fallacy and I'm going to go on. And I'm going to bring an end to it. This is death. Scorpio. I'm going to bring an end to this, this situation. I'm calling judgment on it. And what else are you doing? Nine of Cups. You are walking towards your happiness. Should you want it? Should you want it? It's right here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Outcome for my darlings. Finally, you make the right choice. You get equality with someone. Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be this woman here. This energy that supports you and gives you balance and fairness. And maybe money to move on. Let's say you need to move on. One more, please. Outcome. Justice. Libra. So somebody's going to come in and bring justice into your situation, and the divine is definitely doing. Holy Spirit wants to say something about that. They're stepping in for those of you who are anointed and praying, who are under duress for no particular reason. Um, you could be tarot readers. You could be something but going under some kind of um, oppression from someone who's not who has ill will. And they have a low vibe. It's not your fault. You hold your space, just like I did. They've tried to kill me and shut me down. It doesn't work because I'm anointed by God. You know, if you're called and anointed, you're, you are. They have to face up to him, not me. So, Spirit, Holy Spirit, what are the outcome messages for Ge uh, Gemini's here? You're very close to achieving your goal, so you have to follow through for yourself. A time, this is a time for healing. Someone's going to help you. Adjustments will be required. You may not like the circumstances, but you'll be at least safe. And guess what happens? Nine of Cups. A new romantic cycle will begin for you. Let's take a look at the energy in the background right now at this time. For who I'm reading for, Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus, and their cross watchers. Angel of Balance. I told you justice was coming in.
told you. That's what they wanted to tell you. Justice is here for you. Please hit the like button on my video if you like this reading. Romance Angels for my gemmies, please. My precious gems. Where are you? My darlings, my darlings. Here you go. Engagement coming up, I told you. Uh, you're going to level up very shortly. Yes. You got to learn something now before you can attract the new one. You have to forgive and learn your lesson. That's what the moon in reverse is. It's the hard lessons that you learn and how you got through them. It's amazing. Give me one more. Some of you might consider reconciliation, but that person's going to have to be righteous. Tell me about that. Nope. They're going to ask you for it, but you're going to say no. Why? Because new love is going to scoop you up first. Yes, I see that, my darlings. Well, that's a nice reading. And that is for my precious gems. Thank you for your love. Thank you. Namaste. By the way, the triple threat's only going to be $25, I think, in the till the end of April. So it goes up because these are $11.11. That makes it $33. You're saving a lot of money with this amazing smell. So you'll have one of each, and you'll have a you'll have an arsenal of spiritual protection. I love you. Thank you. Mm, bye.